Thank you, Mike and Will. Great job, guys. And, uh, and that's what we're going to talk about a little bit this morning as, as we get on through uh, those relationships, building those relationships throughout the year. And uh, Mike must have read some of my notes because he's following right along there, which is great. Uh, so at this time, I'd like to, uh, to further introduce, uh, uh, he says he's a civilian now, but uh, to me, he's still a sergeant, right, Sergeant uh, Dakota Meyer. As I said, graduated in 2006, joined the Marines after that, uh, and then the rest is history. The first, uh, soon to be the first uh, living recipient, recipient in over 40 years uh, to receive the Medal of Honor. And I told Dakota as we were talking uh, a few days back, he came by and uh, I told him that I was proud of him no matter, you know, whether he won the, the medal or not. You know, because these young men, when they, when they go out on the line and they, they put it out there for their country, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a big service. Big service. And we don't we don't think about that until it kind of hits home. But uh, uh, he's got a he's got a you know a great story to tell, and uh, it's more than a story. I mean, it's a mission. It's a life. And uh, but but we can be proud of him. We can be proud of all those young men. We have others serving now, and, and some of yours have have uh, have gone, and you want to remember them as well. So uh, wish you guys wouldn't have started this. Now I didn't really want to get up <laughs> tore up up here. So. Uh, but at this time, we are, we are certainly honored to have with us this morning Sergeant Dakota Meyer. Please give him a great welcome this morning. Thank you. 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 Thank to fix Coach Hodge's story, um, there, there were a lot of rabbits there. His dog just yeah, it didn't, it couldn't find them. <laughs> All right, so, so I want to start off by, by what motivates a person? What is it that creates perspective? What is it that drives an individual? The answer is that at some point in his or her life, they've been challenged. Challenged for the good or challenged for the bad. Challenged nonetheless. The decision becomes whether or not to accept the challenge and be changed forever in the process. For they say it is the decision and the journey that not only shapes the person, but those he or she comes in contact with. It is exactly these challenges that have me speaking to you today, and they have significantly changed, my life, changed and shaped my life forever. I was challenged at Greene County High School, sometimes for the good and sometimes not for my liking. <laughs> Some of you may remember that I wasn't exactly a model student. Some of the teachers challenged me, but not in the traditional ways you think. I was not the best student and I didn't always get along with everyone. I was often told no and that I couldn't do things. This, is the ch this, is ch this challenged me. It motivated me to prove people wrong. Later I realized that it taught me persistence and the value of encouragement. A challenge is exactly what led me to become a Marine. Uh, the recruiter told me, he was sitting actually right back there where Mr. Deaton is. Uh, I'll never forget, he was at his table and he, he told me, he said, you, you don't have what it takes to be a Marine. You know, you can go play football or do whatever you think you're going to do, but you don't have what it takes to be a Marine. So uh, I told him, I said, you know, you, you pack your stuff up right now and I'll sign the papers today. So we did. And, uh, and, and this is what motivated me. You know, his challenge motivated me to become the Marine that I am and that I was. And, uh, and once I was in there, it was what, the fuel that drove me to be the best Marine I could. Many of you have probably read the circumstances surrounding my story. It is important that you understand that I was part of a team. I didn't accomplish anything. I was part of something bigger, part of a team of men that worked together, lifting each other up, and working towards a common goal. Every, every member of our team was as important as the other. Each of our jobs, responsibilities, and duties all contributed to collective goals. All I accomplished was living up to my responsibilities, protecting what it means to be part of a team, and not allowing my team's actions to go unrewarded or forgotten. My message to you all today is to please remember what motivates you, and especially who it is you should be challenging. Challenge each other, challenge your students, but please remember to be constructive. Do it with meaning and with purpose. Encourage them, help them see a bigger picture, and, and to realize what they can accomplish. My time in the Marine Corps taught me that being part of a team and depending on each other are essential to accomplishing goals. 
This school system is an entire team made up of smaller units, but essentially all with the same objective. Remember to stay centered, focused on challenging each other to be part of a team that motivates young people and to be more than they realize. Young people today need to be challenged and it takes the motivation of every individual in this room working together to see, uh, to see and, real, and they working together and motivation in, in the, motivating everyone to make them see and realize their individual potential. My final thought is, reference, uh, is referenced by expert Larry Apley. Positive thinking plus positive action equals the realization of full human potential. Any honors or accolades bestowed on me are really the realization of others' positive thinking and actions that help me realize my full human potential. Thank you. Some of you, um, most of you have read this, the stories in the local papers and other places, and uh, I'll share with you just a little bit, and I don't know for all the details, but as I said, Dakota is receiving the Medal of Honor coming up later this fall, I think, and, uh, and the President will be bestowing that upon him, and, and we couldn't be prouder of him. And um, As he went into, uh, in, into battle there, that he had the opportunity, uh, or he took the opportunity to they were pinned down for some time, the way I read it, eight or nine hours, and uh, took the opportunity to go back in and try to retrieve some of his fellow soldiers. And uh, I was hoping to bring them out alive, but they weren't. So, Dakota, come up, man. I want you to. I just want you to know what the young man has been through. And uh, I don't know how many were there, three or four? Uh, Tell us some of um, You know, j just a brief overview. Like you said, uh, you know, we went on a mission and uh, ran into some bad circumstances. Uh, what wasn't what we were expecting. And then, uh, you know, I, they, they were all pinned down for a total of, you know, the, the battle lasted about eight hours. And you know, I went back in to try to get my, my team. I was part of a four-man team, and uh, they had replaced me that day to put in another Marine. And I, I went in to try to go get them out. And like like you said, when I got in there to them, they were all you know they they had all been killed. So um, you know, and, and at the end of the day, it, it, that's what it's about. You know, I, I, you know, a lot of people want to say you know you're a hero, this and that. And and like like I like to tell everyone, if this is what it feels like to be a hero, you can have it. Um, so, you know, I, I th think they made a good point. You, you never know. It's not about what the child is or what, what the student is in front of you at that point. You don't know what challenges are going to be thrown at him after he leaves. If you would have told me that these are the, the challenges or, or the opportunities I would have had after I left, I, I would have probably laughed at you. Um, but, you know, and that's the thing. You know, everyone here is the, the, the student getting out, you're, he's a direct reflection ship or a direct reflection of his teacher. You know, so I think I think that's what the big message is today. Any any questions at all for Dakota this morning? I want to give you an opportunity if you have anything you'd like to share. Or questions at all? Been quite a bit said already. Thank you, Dakota. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you again very much for for being here and for your service to us and the country. Well, as Coach Griffith said, and uh, you never really know who's sitting in front of you day to day, whether it's in the classroom or, or whatever you may be doing uh, out on the front lines here in the school. And uh, we in no way would diminish what he has done down to what we're doing. But you can have a major impact on, on those kids today. So I want you to, to pay attention to who's in front of you each day. Uh, try to see their potential. Uh, you try to figure out. You never really know where life may take them. But one thing I do know is that all of you all can make a difference. All of you all can play a significant part, a very important role in the lives of whatever outcome they may be. 
So this coming year, I want to encourage each of you to look a little bit deeper into the hearts and soul of those kids that you face each day. Uh, this year, I want to challenge each, each of you and encourage each of you to make the extra effort uh, to build those positive relationships with your students. And, and I don't want you, I just don't want this to be a speech and, and you take, go away and not do that because you know as well as I do that that's, that's what's going to make the difference. It just may not be who you expect. You never know who's out there. So don't write anybody off. Give them all an opportunity. Some, they just don't, they're just hard to bring along, I know. But try every way you can. If you will, please give uh, Dakota Meyer another big hand. An honor to have him with us here this morning. student. We're proud of what you've turned into, what you've made of yourself, and life is all about it. Dakota and I were talking earlier up here, you know, we've all, we all have uh, made mistakes in our lives. We've all, at least I think most of us have, uh, we all weren't those model students all the time, but it's it's about what we take with us. Appreciate you being here with us this morning and all your crew with them, so hopefully we can keep, keep you all too long this morning, but it was a great honor to have you, and we Thank look you. forward to seeing more in the future and he's got a busy schedule and uh, but you you'll see you're here and see more about Dakota as the year goes on and if there's any way we can help you in the future we'll be more than happy to do that thank you, thank you so much great ambassador for Green County